now two sample two sample t-test so now in this video we'll be talking about two sample t-test okay so again I request you that before we start this all hypothesis test please go through AID chart at least four times because you need to know all the prerequisites that when we conduct two sample t-test so let me tell you uh, in, in, in this case uh, just a second okay yeah we're talking about two sample t-test so in this test the prerequisites are that your y needs to be continuous your x needs to be just a second okay your x needs to be discrete and obviously your x needs, needs to have two levels okay because in two sample t-test what we do is we compare two subgroups we compare two samples rather than saying that we just compare two samples let's say that we compare mean of two samples and we check whether whether performance uh, of say one sample is better or, or, or uh, uh, performance of other sample is better so in, in very short we use two sample t-test to compare mean of two population okay so how we do that and why we do that let's say for example uh, I'm talking about login R and in my team there are say uh, there are there are uh, 30 people okay and I'm concerned with the login R because login R or login R of my process is is say uh, six hours against the target of eight hours so I'm concerned I want to know whether I, now I know that problem is with centering now I want to know uh, whether whether it's it's problem of males or it's problem of females is it like males that are performing better but because of low performance of females my overall average uh, login hour is going going below six hours or is it like my females they are performing good but but because of my uh, males are not performing good my overall average uh, login hour uh, login hour uh, is going b below six hours I just want to test this hypothesis I want to check whether gender has impact on login hour or not so whenever I have two samples as in this case wherein my y is sales right and obviously my y is continuous and my x is gender which is discrete so second condition is fulfilled moreover in gender I have two levels males females so these all conditions are fulfilled now the next condition is that your data I mean your y has to be normal okay so if you remember that AIG chart you don't have to uh, mug these all conditions off here because in that AIG chart we have al al already talked about all the situations when when uh, do we conduct one sample t-test and when do we conduct two sample t-test okay so you use one sample t-test when your y is continuous your x is discrete and your x has two levels in it and you are comparing mean of both the subgroups so in this case again as as other tests there will be two hypotheses and the first hypothesis is null hypothesis null hypothesis will say that there is no significant difference in the mean of two sample or in, in the mean of two samples okay now we'll say that uh, mean of sample one and uh, and mean of sample two uh, no it's it's not sample mean it's rather population mean so mean of population one and mean of population two are almost equal to populations okay we are not talking about samples we are talking about populations so there is no significant difference in in the mean of two population similarly alternate so alternate hypothesis will say that there is significant difference in the mean of two population okay in very short null hypothesis will say that uh, say uh, population mean minus uh, population mean of uh, mean of first population minus mean of second population is almost equal to zero whereas alternate says that mean of uh, population one 
and uh, and difference of mean of population one and mean of population two is 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 not equal to zero. Okay, is not equal to uh, zero. Okay. All right. I hope this. Uh, uh, okay. So now we will say that the that the mean of both the samples are equal. Alternate will say that mean of both the both the populations are not equal. Okay, and and we used it to we, we use this test to make decision to check uh, whether gender has impact on 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 say sales or not. If if mean of both the gender gender that is male and female uh, is is equal, then then I will say that gender do not have any significant impact on the sales of the process. But if I if I find that. Uh, there is significant difference in the mean of gender and mean of I'm sorry mean of males and mean of females then I will say that gender impacts uh, our sales okay so uh, how do we do this test let's let's see here so the the, the navigation part for, uh, uh, a path for two sample t-test is go to basic stat stat basic stat and two sample t-test okay in two sample t-test you have three options see here the first option is samples in one column so we use this option when when your uh, project y is in is in one column and and your subscript that is your x is in another column and uh, I, I I can uh, we can say it like say if if you are talking about gender, then data of both males and females if they are in the same column, then we'll we'll go with this option called samples in same uh, samples in one column. But if data if if say sales for males are in one column and sales for females are in one column, then we'll go with this option. Okay, we we call it in technical terms in Minitab we call it unstacked data, and in technical terms in Minitab we call it stacked data because in in stacked data uh, AST I'm sorry in in stacked data sales of males and females will be in the same column. In unstacked data sales for, for males will be in 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 one column and sales for females will be in one column. And third option is summarized data. If you have not been given data, rather you have you have been given summary of two samples. Uh, in that summary, you, you need to have the total number of sample size for both the samples. You, you need to have mean of both the samples, and you need to have standard deviation of both the samples. If you have these three information, then also you can use two sample t test. As of now. My uh, my data is stacked. That is, uh, sales data of both males and females are in same column. Okay, so I would, I would select this option here. I would you I would select sales, and in subscripts I would output my x x which has two levels. Okay, if I select here shift, I will not get any result because it, there are three shifts. In shifts there are three levels: morning, evening, night. So I would select gender. And then see here. Do you see assume equal variance? You you can tick uh, you can tick this option assume equal variance only if you are sure that variance of males and females are equal. And how you will know that? You will know that if you have already conducted test for equal variance and you have found out that variance of the samples are approximately equal. In our case, we have we have checked that out. We have found that variance of males and females are approximately equal. So in this case, what we will do is we can we can uh, tick this option assume equal variance. If you have not done this test, if 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 you have if you, you haven't uh, done test for equal variance, then please do not tick that. Or if you uh, if you have done test for equal variance and you found that variance of the samples are not equal, please do not tick this option. Okay, so sometimes you may you may get different result. Okay, now see you can go to option and see here you have three options as in case of that one sample t test. So you have less than option, not equal option, greater than option. So as of now, I will I will go with a non-directional test that is not equal. Okay, I just want to check whether mean of population one and mean of population two, that is mean of uh, say males and mean mean of females are uh, are say equal or not. 
so i would go here you can go to graph in graph you have two options individual value plot box plot okay you can choose one option okay and okay see here so now this is how this is what you get this is the box plot in upcoming video in data visualization tool you will know how to interpret box plot so this this clearly shows this is the graphical representation of mean of uh, male is is higher than mean of female now whether this this difference is significant or not for that we need to look at the p-value okay so see here there is p-value and and this p-value says p-value is 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 greater than 0 0.05 that means you would go with null hypothesis and null hypothesis says that there is no significant difference in the variance of the samples so you will conclude that uh, there's, there's no significant difference in the mean of sales for males and females though in that box plot we could we could see that there was big difference but here we are talking at the level of significance okay so hypothesis test uh, gives us idea whether there is any significant difference or not so we can clearly see here it it, it gives us idea that the, that there is no significant difference in the variance of the samples okay so this is how we do two sample t-test now if we have to go to two sample t-test and in option if you if you just want to test that say uh, less than option then again we can go with less than option in this case uh, your null hypothesis will say that m mean of population one uh, is null will say that mean of population one is is not less than uh, mean of population two so when I say not less than, it can be either equal to or or, or can be greater than the, the, the mean of population two. Similarly, alternate hypothesis in this in this case will will say that mean of population one is is less than mean of population two. So okay, see here. Do you see here? P value is greater than zero point zero five. That means see here you we did test for uh, earlier we did test for not equal just to check whether mean of mean of our population one was equal to mean of or mean of our population two or not we found that both were equal so ideally when we know that mean of both population are equal so if I do less than test so there it should tell me that it's not less than mean of population 1 is not less than mean of population 2 and if I do a test for greater than then it should tell us that mean of population 1 is not greater than population 2 that means it's neither smaller nor greater than mean of population 2 okay so you can clearly see in this option we saw that mean of population one is not smaller than mean of population two now let's do test of greater than greater than now it shows okay okay now it shows that mean of population here again your p-value is greater than 0 0.05 that shows that mean of population one is not greater than mean of population two so even if I use less than test or greater than test, I would get the same result. Okay, that will tell us that mean of population one uh, is neither smaller than mean of population two, or nor greater than mean of population two. Rather, they are equal. I hope this was clear. Okay.